welcome to the video so it's gonna be a Sunday video and the Sunday video is going to be post race 5k so we're gonna talk about the 5k um, just doing some laps here uh, trying to do some volunteer work and get a video out because there's so much going on, you know, with life. We're in 2023. We got a lot of goals set out. Um, even one of the main goals was doing a 5K and getting a PR. And when I did the 5K, I did I did 21 minutes. Uh, I don't know if I forgot to set my watch, but it was definitely a top race for me as far as time goes because I got my best time my best time I think it was like 2130 and but I think I clocked 2213 or something is what the chip time was and I know your watch time is gonna be a little different from your um, your watch or your you know your your overall race time and then I got second place uh, in my age group, uh, the first guy came in chip time was 21:13, so like a minute ahead of me as far as chip time goes. So I'll take that. Um, I will say, I will say a lot of things um, that built up to the race was as follows. I did get a little nervous. I got a you know a few butterflies. Um, I did a lot of stretching. Uh, I was very limber. I felt like I, you know, could have, you know, you always, you always feel like you leave a little bit on the table. Um, I feel like I had a little bit in the tank. Uh, I know I was carrying like a, man, a seven minute pace for the first mile, a six minute pace for the second mile, and me and this uh, young lady were running side by side and she's a heavy runner and what I mean by that she was a light you know individual but when she when she struck it was like boom 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 I mean it was super super loud and a lot of times you know stuff like that it aggravates me um, but you know I didn't let I didn't let it you know aggravated me I just I just kept on going I just act like you know nothing was going on and I just kind of she was pacing me and I I felt like at the end I was pacing her um, but at the same time it it pushed me and then I got a little bit of a Winston on my right side and if you don't know what a Winston is I've been told it was when you're breathing a little bit too heavy, a little bit too hard, and you're like aspirated for air. So your side gets almost like a cramp or, you know, from your diaphragm being open and closing too fast. Um, so I had one of those. It wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It was enough where I could, you know, keep going and not have, you know, any, any real you know issues you know with the with the 5k um, but I was kind of like well I'm at I looked at my watch I'm at 21 minutes I was coming up you know on the third mile and I only had you know 0.1 to go because it was a 5k which was basically around the lake and then down this side street and when you went down this side street you knew that you knew that the race was almost over and I usually like try to run super fast but for whatever reason I didn't try to run like super fast at the last little bit because um, I did pace with the young lady for I think it was like a mile and then and then I just fell back I just fell back a little bit um, and that you know I think that was good because I didn't want to burn out you know like everything that I had um, and then the awards took for 
ever it felt like. So I got done, say seven to seven twenty one, and they didn't do the awards until a whole hour later. So it was like eight twenty one when the awards were um, starting. And then, like I said before, the guy that got first place, he's retiring. He said he's in the forty five to fifty age group, and it was looking like. 21 minutes for him so next year I can push a little bit harder it's a common ground race I can put the inf information down below because I've been like on social media like just telling everybody about it that I can um, just to try to get the word out you know because it I think it raised I don't know probably 15 to, to $20,000 I thought it was a thousand runners, but I think there was, which would have been 35,000. So it would have been, I don't know, half that, 17,500 with, you know, four or 500 runners, which is still a good turnout. And all the money goes for the park, which, you know, really pleased with that because it is a very nice park. Uh, it's Common Ground Park in Lakeland, Florida. If you ever want to come check it out, it's a great, great place to take your kids. Uh, it's nice and secure. There is a, uh, a fence all the way around it you know that it's kind of like a pool lock the the gate you know locks behind you uh, very safe you know as far as that goes so yeah I really enjoyed it like I said before if there's anything I could have done better I felt like I, I should have just paced with her through the finish of the race and I might have just and I might have had I don't know a little bit better a little bit better race um, but you know just like any race, there's always next year. Uh, and like I said before, I was a little bit nervous. I feel like you're going to get, I mean, it's not a triathlon. You know, it's not a sprint. It's not, um, you know, a big race by any means. But I do feel there's a level of jitters, the race jitters you get, and the level gets bigger, the bigger the race is. So if you're doing an Ironman, your race jitters are through the roof. If you're doing a 5K, you're kind of like, ah, okay. It's a little nervous, but let's get it started. It'll be over with before you know it. Um, so yeah, and then, like I said, my prediction was four races this year, 5K, Sprint, Ironman, Marathon, New York City Marathon. So I got one of the four completed so I got three to go so I'm gonna get this video up so you definitely can uh, see this and you know how the race unfolded with this little quick post race interview that I'm doing for you so let's get after it and I will see you guys and gals in the next video remember have fun stay safe and tell somebody about a race